Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ghostbusters! Actually, we're not so much busting ghosts as we are helping them, but still. Let's see if... the uh, lady upstairs wants that locket we found. One complaint about this part of the game, actually, is that you have no idea why you're doing this. You're doing it because you can. Because the game lets you, and therefore it must be useful. It, we don't actually know that this will help us locate uh, Pandora's box or um, do anything else useful. We just have to hope that it will pay off in the end. Oh, come on. You hand the lovely locket to the distraught ghost. The locket seems to make her very happy as she vanishes into thin air. What was that? A loud wailing sound comes from downstairs. Looks like we haven't quite run out of ghosts yet. The sound of anguished wailing reaches you. Another ghost downstairs? Is he in uh, the left room? Nope. Oh, there he is. Looks like a very stately gentleman. You have encountered a gentleman ghost of the distinguished lord of the manor. He wills despondently as he seems to be looking for something he desperately wants. And let me guess, it's buried in his grave. Well, I guess we'd better check that out then. The lord of the manor was buried on the west side, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's one of these two. Yes, Lord Coningsby is buried here. So, let's dig again. This is just going to be the rest of the Let's Play, digging up graves. You dig a small hole at the grave of the Lord of the Manor. Gotcha! You have found an impressive Medal of Honor. Weird thing is, these things don't seem to be in the casket. They just seem to be buried near the grave. Why do that? I don't know. Must have been a custom local to uh, Tamir. The terrifying zombie senses your obsidian scarab, and we already know that. You bend down, pick it up, and carry it with you. Stupid zombies. It's not the zombie apocalypse yet, so get back into the ground. We found the uh, metal. Um, I was actually on it. <laughs> there we go. Looks like a Victorian cross or something. Also looks like the cross of the Knights Templar. Anyway. Let's give him back his medal, which I'm sure he was looking for. If we can find him, of course. They do sometimes show up in different rooms. Oh, but he shows up here again. Give medal to... Ghost. You offer the Medal of Honor to the Wailing Ghost. He takes it from your hands with great reverence. Satisfied, he vanishes into thin air. I hope that's the last of them. Is it? Maybe? Perhaps? No, apparently not. A cute little boy ghost suddenly appears. He grins mischievously at you, begins to giggle, and runs from the room. That's sort of different behavior from the other ghosts, isn't it? You hear naughty giggling as the little boy ghost runs from the room. Hey, where did that ladder come from? That wasn't here before. I do believe this is a ladder of death, so let's save. Well, actually, I don't think the ladder is dangerous, but you can fall down the hole once you're up there. Oh, what? Climb! There's no doors to open. We're at the uh, attic, apparently. The little boy ghost laughs and refuses to budge from his seat on top of the chest. It might help if he had a toy to play with. 
After adjusting your eyes to the gloom, you soon see that you have stumbled upon the musty attic of the old house. The trapdoor in the floor is open, and from it a ladder leads down to the room below. Useless junk and boxes clutter the room. There's an interesting chest near the open trapdoor. Let's look at the ghost. The little boy ghost laughs. Um, that's the same message we already got automatically. The chest, then. The top of the wooden chest is currently occupied by a naughty little ghost. Sure you won't be in the way. Let's open the chest. The boy ghost laughs and teases and refuses to leave his spot on top of the chest. Obviously this chest is important, but we're gonna have to get that ghost boy away from here. It might help if he, have a, if he had a toy. Hey, stop teasing me. So, let's climb back down and see if we can't find something at the grave of this boy. Because, yes, we also saw the grave of a little boy, other than the infant, on the east side of the graveyard. I better hope Pandora's box is in that chest. Otherwise, I'm going to be very disappointed. Okay, um, I think it was that one. Really? You don't know what a tombstone is? A little boy Willy! Yes. Okay, let's dig! If only we could get into the earth as easily as those zombies would save a lot of digging. You dig a small hole at the little boy ghost's grave. Aha! You have uncovered a toy horse. You bend down, pick it up, and carry it with you. Now, um, I do believe that if we try and dig again... Uh-oh! You've broken your shovel! It breaks. That isn't particularly problematic. Then why am I restoring? Because we've digged all we needed. But that does show that if you dig in the wrong location only once, you will not be able to dig often enough to get all the stuff you need for the ghosts. But then, this is a King's First game. What were you expecting? And hey, at least, uh... Oh, there the boy ghost is back. At least, uh, it's slightly less evil than the bridge in King's Quest 2. Because you don't have to go back as far if you uh, run into this problem. Okay, let's follow him back up the ladder. And give him the horsey. To ghost. You give the toy horse to the little boy ghost in hopes that he will vanish like the others before him. For a moment you fear that he will not as he takes time to examine it carefully. Suddenly he grins at you and in a twinkling disappears. And that's the last of the ghosts. Finally. Now we found a chest. Is Pandora's box in it? I hope so. You peek into the open chest and find an old set of sheet music. You take the sheet music and carry it with you. Sheet music? All this trouble for some sheet music? Couldn't we have just gone to a music store or something? Let's take a look at our sheet music. Hmm. Just some notes without context. Or, you know, bars for that matter. You can barely make out the old song written on the sheet music. But apparently we can make it out. Too bad we gave away our uh, loot. Can we use the flute or the whistle to play sheet music? This is strictly organ music. Hmm, organ music? I remember seeing an organ in here. 
Wait, that means we're gonna have to go back up the uh, staircase, aren't we? Curses. Hey, but at least the game was nice enough to uh, give a message when you try to play it with a different instrument. So, let's try playing that sheet music and see what happens. I'm sure it must be something interesting, otherwise, why would we find this? Let's hope we can get up this staircase without dying in the meantime. As before, we have this strange transition here, where suddenly pressing up takes you towards the front of the screen, which is still very uh, weird, even if you're expecting it. But we made it without falling. So, let's see. Sit down and... Play the sheet music. If you just type play organ again, we'll play the same thing as before. You have to specifically say play sheet music. You find it difficult to read the old sheet music, but uh, you attempt to play it anyway. That was quite an impressive display of sight reading, uh, Rosella. Sight reading, in case you don't know, is the art of playing a piece of music the first time you see the sheet music without having heard the song before or having practiced. What is this? A small drawer has opened in the organ. That's interesting. You see a skeleton key in the drawer. You take the skeleton key from the drawer. Skeleton key! Could that perhaps be used to open the crypt? We'll find out in the next video.